Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at assigning switches in OpenTX and we're going to take it a little step further and we're going to look at how to combine multiple switches for doing things like sending flight modes over a single channel to your flight controller. So let's take a look. Right, so what we have here is just a base model set up. There's nothing on it really other than you know, just the basic inputs. So what we're going to do is have a, a quick look at how to set up different ways of moving switches to outputs. So these can be used in, you know, for a regular receiver, for stuff like landing gear, or later on we're going to progress into combining switches for use with, for example, flight modes on the flight controller. So let's get to the basics first we're just going to set up a simple switch so if we go into our model we don't need to worry about inputs because this is just really basic we just got to set it up on channel 5 and we'll just go to the source click the switch we want and that's it done if i hold down this button we can get up our channel monitor so if we look at channel 5, which is over here, this is the switch we've just added. And you can see it's just a nice, simple three-way switch. So you could use this on flight, uh, flight controllers for operations, or you could use it on receivers, you know, just for standard stuff like landing gear, flaps. Um, probably not flaps, actually. You'd want to do it a bit better. But you, you get the idea. It's a simple three-way switch. I will be doing videos later on for stuff like landing gear and flaps so don't worry about that but this is just how to get your switches to your receiver or your flight controller so that's the basic switch which as i mentioned we could use this as is for a simple operation on a flight controller so maybe i don't know switching in the middle off auto trim and auto tune something like that or three different flight modes but generally with flight modes you want more than three so you'd maybe have manual at, uh, angle return to home if you yeah that would be probably the most basic you'd want but obviously people want more than that they want stuff like um, loiter and you know 3d cruise and acro other stabilized modes um so what some people do is just do what we've done with this switch and just send lots of different switches over to iNav or whichever flight controller software you're using. The problem is that soon fills up all these channels, which you, I don't know how we get to the others, but we've got most sort of traditional systems have 16 channels on stuff like Crossfire and the LR12, you only have 12 channels, but going forward in the future, there's supposed to be 24 on, um, access which would be quite nice but what we're going to do is just try and get it to use as minimal channels as possible so if we're doing flight modes why have flight modes on different channels yeah you know, unless we're wanting to overlay a flight mode for example altitude hold you use with another flight mode so you could have angle for example add altitude hold and it locks it um so unless you want to do that, then you don't really need to do them with different uh, channels. We can still use different switches, but we don't need to use different channels. So what we're going to do is have a look at a simple way of doing that. So, so I'm going to look at these two switches here and get five flight modes, which is only adding an extra two, but we're still going to send them over the same channel. So what we'll do is we'll go into our model menu and what we're going to do this time is actually set it up as an input. So what I'm going to do is go to six and we'll give us our modes input. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, like an initial position. So I'm going to call this maybe the master. And I'm just going to set this up on switch SA. So what you can see on the output all the way up is negative 100 in the middle is zero and at the top is 100. At the moment it's just a simple three-way switch same as anything else we've done. But what we're going to do now is add in this switch right here. So what we're going to do is hold down 
and go into insert after. And we're going to call this our sub modes. So just sub. And what we're going to do is set it up on SB right here. And what we'll do, oops, sorry, no SB. We're going to give it a weight of 50. And now what we're going to do is give it a switch. So what this will mean is it will only work when that switch is in that position. So what we'll do is we'll stick this one here in the middle. And that's it, we'll back out. But what we now need to do is just modify master. And we don't want master to work when it's in that middle position. So we select it in the middle position, go to invert, and that's it, job done. So that's our input set up. So now if we go into the mixer, I'm going to add it on channel 6. This again we call our modes. We use the source as our mode. So if we flick these, yeah, it automatically recognizes the input mode. If it doesn't, just hold down, select inputs, and then scroll through the list until you find mode. So that's how we set it up. Weight is, can stay on 100. Everything else is done. So what we'll do now is we'll X out, we'll go back into our channel monitor. And you can see I've already named this output here modes. So this is now our combination switch. So in the middle, this switch here is working. So we go, we have minus 50, zero, 50. And if we go to the outsides, we have minus 100 and plus 100. You can still see that it's still working on channel 5, but you can just ignore that for now. So there we have five positions. We have this position here. You can see when that's not in the middle position, this doesn't work. So if that's in that position, we have minus 100, minus 50, 0, 50, 100. So that's our five positions. If you have a transmitter with a six-way switch like the the X10S, uh, Jumper T16, Radio Master TX16S, yeah, Jumper T18, any of those radios that have this six-way switch, we can actually get eight modes out of a combination of the two. And again, it's really simple. And all we're going to do is modify our input. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it from SB. So edit, change that from SB, choose our six position switch. And this time we're going to set the weight to 80. And that's all we need to do. We can come out of that. What I'll do is I'll get rid of this one here just to get rid of any confusion. We'll go back to our channel monitor. And you can see here we're at minus 100. So if I move that all the way around there, go to our center position, we're at 80, 48, 16, minus 16, four, minus 48, minus 80, minus 100. So we have eight positions now, all going through the same channel using a combination of this switch and the six-way pot. And this is actually how I have my transmitter set up. I really liked having flight modes on the pot. So because I, well, I used to use uh, this uh, X9D here. And this here is a six-way switch. It's actually the Horus switch just plugged in. So I use, used to use that for my flight modes. Really liked the way it worked. But uh, you learn when you're going along that... Um, if you have an emergency, that's not the most intuitive thing. It's nice just to have a switch where you can say, right, return to home. Flick that in a position and it will return to home. So the way I have mine set up is I have return to home, these modes and manual. So this, this is why it's, I've called it the master switch because I get manual or return to home. If not, I can have whatever I choose on here. So, you know, acro, angle, 3D cruise, loiter, uh, waypoint missions, whatever you want. You've got six positions on this switch to have whichever flight modes you want. So that's a nice combination using inputs. And the reason why it's good using inputs rather than the mixer is, especially with like this five position thing, if you use uh, something like a vector or RG pilot, they like having the switch positions in a, uh, a certain place. So at the moment, uh, I'll put it back to the switch quickly. Right, so at the moment, I'll go to the mixer. We can see we've got our nice uh, 
switch layout with even spacing, which you know works great. But Vector and RG Pilot like the switches to be at specific uh, microsecond values. So what you can do is actually on this input is add a curve. So if we go and create a quick curve, so a standard five point curve at the moment, we can set this to minus a hundred. I don't know, maybe it wants it at minus 41. Positive 41 and positive 100. And what, basically what you can do is tweak these values so that the switch activates exactly where it wants it in RG plane or on the vector. And all you do is go into your mix, edit, set a custom curve, and choose the mod or mode. So now you can see we're at minus 100, minus 41, 0, 41 and positive 100 so you would just tweak that curve to get it where it, where it wants it but that's not all we can do so at the moment we've had a basic three-way switch we've got a combination of a five-way switch here we've got a combination of an eight-way switch but one final one that we can do is set up these two switches to be a nine-way switch if you, you know, if, if eight isn't enough for you, or you don't have this, we can set up extra switches. So what I'm going to do is this one, unfortunately, we have to do in the mixer. So it's not so easy to add curves and that sort of thing. So let's just delete it. And what we're going to do is create a new switch. So again, we'll call this modes. And what we're actually going to assign to it is switch SA. The way this is going to work is SA is going to be like a bank switch. And once you select the bank, you can use SB to select different flight modes within that bank. So these three will be different to these three will be different to these three. But what I would recommend is having both in the same direction being returned to home, whether it's towards you or away, whichever your preference, just set that to return to home. So it's nice and easy to get into that flight mode. So basically we just set up our SA and that's that part done. What we need to do now is insert after and we're gonna use switch SB and what we're going to do for this first one is give it a weight of 25%. What we're also going to do is give it an offset of 25%. And what we need to do is give it a switch position of SA up. So when SA is in the up position, this will add. So what you can see down here is SA is up. We have this all the way up is minus 100. We have minus 75 and then we have minus 50. So that's our first part done. And what we're going to do is copy this. So just quick click and go down, click again. And now we're going to edit. And what we need to do this time is set the weight to minus 25. And we're, the reason we're doing this is so that it flows if you're progressing through the switches. We set the offset to zero. And we set the switch position to SA in the middle. I've just noticed I actually messed up on that. So that needs to be SA up. So let's start again. So both all the way up, we have minus 100, minus 75, minus 50. Now if we move into the middle, we're at minus 25. So it's carried on from minus 50 to minus 25. 0, 25. So now what we need to do is add our final bank. So what I'm going to do is copy the top one and we put it at the bottom. Edit. We can leave this weight at 25. This time we're changing the offset 
to minus 25 and we're putting the switch position SA down. So we come out, we'll start again from the top, we're at minus 100, minus 75, minus 50, minus 25, 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. So you can see we have nine switch positions in three banks. So as I say, use either 100 or minus 100 for your return to home and you'll be fine. I can see that working in the monitors if you want. So it's all the same. But there we go. So there's four different options there for setting up switches and sending them over to your flight controller. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up um, and also please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't already. This will help get the video out to more people so they can learn more about OpenTX. Thank you for watching. Play your models like you stole them and I'll see you.